What's up guys over top here in this video we're going to be talking about dx25 incentivized testnet and as usual before we begin a couple of disclaimers nothing here is financial advice always do your own research and secondly all information provided as is so follow at your own risk all links are in description so first of all what is a dx25 it's a DeFi application uh, developed on a blockchain Multiverse X. It's developed by Taken Labs, the DeFi builder arm of Switzerland-based Taken AG. DX25 Labs currently has a team of over 40 staff dedicated to developing and marketing the platform. And what's interesting, they recently raised a seed funding round of 750 USD. So now let's dive into official announcement. And I quote here, DX25 has officially launched its public testnet. In order to reward early users of the platform, we are launching the DX25 rewards program, allocating a total of 100,000 USD in DX25 tokens for the campaign, which will run until the platform launches its mainnet. And as far as I understand, uh, the launch is scheduled to sometime in q2 users will be able to earn their share in rewards by participating in one of two rewards categories namely the early birds rewards and builder rewards categories a total of 50,000 usd in the x25 tokens have been allocated for each category early birds rewards the first 10,000 users to join in the x25 rewards program will each receive a minimum of 5 usd in the X25 tokens are dropped once the TGE uh, takes place. And build rewards category is aimed at users who engage in a variety of different activities outlined below. So basically, the more experience points you're gaining, the more allocation you're gonna have. So how to participate? Uh, you can earn XP by performing certain actions or inviting others to try out the X25. The amount of XP earned will be linked to the Metaverse X wallet used on the platform in addition to any social media accounts linked to the campaign in the process. So first of all, we need to fill this form. And as far as I understand, the first part, the early birds, it's basically whoever fills this form, uh, first 10,000 people on uh, first come first serve basis will get an allocation of like extra five bucks. Unfortunately, there is no counter here, so it's impossible to know whether or not this has been submitted 10,000 times but this is pretty early for example that twitter only has like 2.5k followers so i would bet that there are no 10,000 people yet however we need to take into account that there are professional farmers of such programs and so somebody may have already submitted like a thousand applications from a thousand different wallets but again there is no way to know that so just fill this out as early as possible and the article states that if you do not fill out the form, you will not be eligible uh, for the rewards. This step is the only one required to participate in the early birds rewards category. As for the testnet activities, uh, we get certain amount of experience uh, for certain actions. So I'll perform a swap, 100 XP at liquidity, 250 XP, close position, 100 XP, harvest rewards, 100 XP, bug reports, 1000 XP. And also states that maximum amount of XP you can earn per day is limited to 1000, excluding bug reports. And also we have some social tasks here. Uh, besides the testnet activities, you can earn points by performing some quests outside of the testnet. These quests need to be performed and confirmed through Zilli. So they do have a Zilli page. However, there are like five tasks here for now. But anyways, you can join and do those. We will be adding new quests weekly, so make sure you keep checking in for the updates. Once the program has concluded and the total XP earned by each user has been calculated and confirmed, users will be contacted via email with steps to claim their rewards. This will take place after the token generation event. Okay, so what are the preparation steps to start doing transactions? First of all, we need a separate wallet, obviously. And if we go to the official uh, mobile setting page, we see that there is a mobile wallet, although I did not test that. You can connect your ledger and you can get an extension. But if you're doing that on PC or Mac, I recommend just using the browser extension 
as usual. So this is it. The way I set this up is the same as usual. Download it at the Chrome store, link in description, get seed phrase, set the password and you're done. So once you set up your wallet, you get your wallet address, you get this wallet address and go fill this form as fast as possible. Then join socials, join Zilli, join Discord, uh, follow Twitter. You can complete straight away your tasks on Zilli and kind of forget about it for the next announcement on the Discord or the Twitter that the tasks has been added and we can go to actually do tasks on chain. So first of all, we need to go claim testnet tokens and there are two faucets. One faucet is inside the application and the other faucet is built for the whole chain. So we're gonna claim that first. We click here, connect our extension. And here you can see the button faucet. And as you can see, we can request 30 EGLD tokens and 5 million of something else, I don't know. Uh, and this is claimable once every 24 hours. So we pass the capture and request. Okay, I've just done some testing and the official faucet does not work. So I tested several wallets and it's always the same thing. The transaction that's supposed to give you uh, the testnet tokens, it's just failing every time. Luckily, we do have, I don't know what this is, probably like a community faucet where we can request one uh, X EGLD. So for that, we just copy our wallet address. Make sure you put the devnet here. Don't change the asset that it will actually give you X EGLD. Put the wallet address here, click submit and wait like half a minute. This will give us the one token because we needed to start minting testnet tokens at DX25. Because without that, you cannot mint. Like there is a faucet here. So if you go here, there is a faucet, right? But it's not actually being sent to you. It's being minted and you need to pay the gas. And if you don't have uh, this native token to pay the gas, you cannot mint. Uh, be sure that you set up the devnet here because there is a devnet, mainnet and testnet here and we are doing all this on devnet even though technically the announcement is about the testnet. Okay, now finally I can actually go to TX25, connect my wallet and here at the faucet we can mint, we can mint any token. The maximum amount is a million. Let's mint a million of wrapped BTC. Just confirm, pay a little bit of gas and this will be minted. I'm gonna swap first. What do we have? Let's do some USDTs. How about a hundred thousand? Wait, so it doesn't show me. Okay, you have to click. We can swap. Next, next. Wait, why do you have to click so much? Look at these transaction steps. You have to confirm like six times for the transaction. Basically, all these tasks, they are pretty straightforward. You have swaps, you have pulls, you can wrap. There's analytics. So it's a bit weird because if you go to pools, it shows you your position, it doesn't show you the list. But if you go to analytics, then you can actually click on this and add liquidity into existing pool. I never understand why on some DEXs you don't have the list of existing pools in your pool tab. Oh my God, the interface is quite confusing. Concentrated liquidity, full range, single sided liquidity. Okay, I'm not gonna change anything because at this very moment, I don't really care. Let's do a hundred thousand. Wait, this is one million, hundred thousand. You have to you have to click several times in the window for that to like respond. Slippage tolerance confirm. 
Yeah, look at this. Transaction steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven clicks to confirm transaction. Also, we have wrap your native token. It's only native token to the wrapped version of the token because you cannot swap, right? Yeah, you cannot, you cannot do anything with the unwrapped version. You have to wrap first. Slight amount here. Okay, let's go back to the article real quick. So swap is 100, illiquidity to 50, close position, harvest rewards. Close position and harvest are both pull functionalities. Harvest, what am I harvesting? It's all that here, it's only like three steps. Yeah, so currently I would say that it doesn't matter, you just do any transactions you want really to get a thousand points like daily and do several clicks and you're done basically. If you found any bugs, you go report these bugs and then maybe they will treat your feedback as a bug report and give you a thousand extra XP. And obviously pay attention to the new information on the Discord, on the Twitter about new Zilli tasks because they need to edit like yesterday, to be honest. Also, the Discord is not well structured yet. Yeah, so hopefully they will add some proper structure to it soon and fix some stuff that is not working currently. I mean, they just started basically, they had the seed funding round. So this is very, very early. That's basically all I wanted to cover in this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.